Now that we have done the EDA part, the leftover stuff is to split the model and then uh, train our decision tree. So let's start by splitting our model. So let me split our model first. So let's name this as split model, this part. And for this, we will be needing train test split. So let's import from sklearn dot model selection import train test split. So yeah, everything is just fine. Now let's break out our x and y. So what should be our x? X should be all the features that helps us to predict okay the predictors so uh, let's take from the iris data set let's look into the iris data set first iris head okay this looks fine so we are going to take everything so let's do our favorite i lock use our favorite i lock method so we are going to take all the rows and all the columns leaving the last one and what i want i want the values so let's do copy it paste it out and let's change the values so here we had x now we are going to take y and in Y, we need all the rows and in columns, we need only the last one. So only minus one. So let's check X. So X is an array. Okay. Array of all the values till uh, the last, leaving the last column. And Y, specifically the uh, target values. Okay. Now, let's use our... Uh, a model let's call out our model let's train our model okay and first let's split our model okay for splitting our model we have clean test split so let's do train test split and i'm going to copy out the example from here this is something which i mostly do while uh, writing the bigger uh stuff Okay, so here we have the example of frame test split. Let's copy it out, paste it over here. Okay, then one line for now. Okay, so I have x train, x test, y train, y test, and then train test split function x, y test side is test size. Uh, let's keep it to 30%, not 33. 33 is also fine. And let's keep random state 101. Okay, if you guys want the exact same solution which I am having, then just use a random state. So we have split our model into uh, two halves, not exactly half, but a 70 30 ratio. So 30% of our data has gone to for the test okay, that is in Y train and Y test. Now we are going to train our model. We are going to create our first ever decision tree model, a classifier model. We have already looked into the regression model. Now we are going to look into the uh, classif classification model. Okay, so. Let's name this section as training. Okay. Yes, this is fine. Let's create some new cell and let's name it as, let's call out our algorithm from the sklearn library. Okay, from sklearn.tree import decision tree classifier. Let's look if everything is fine. So what we, exactly we have done from the sklearn library we have called the module decision tree classifier which is having the complete code for decision tree so rather than writing the complete code for it what we have done just call out the library so sklearn library does the back work for us now what we need to do is just call out the library and fit our model okay so let's name this as ds3 is equal to decision tree classifier let's create a object of this class classifier everything is just fine next thing i am going to fit our model 
ds3 dot fit it will just fit our model okay so over here i'll take x train and y train x train and y train okay so now just know that what i have done over here is i have taken all the default values if you want to check what all the default values are you can just check uh, shift plus tab okay and you will get what the default value is criterion over here is uh, genie splitter is best max depth is none mix uh, min minimum sample split is two minimum sample leaf is one max features is none currently random state random state i haven't given anything right now okay you can just give any random state let's say 101 let me give if you want the same solution as me then you can just give a random state okay. let me give 101 okay this just makes sure that yours and mine solution is just exactly the same and these are the default value class weights are none and ccp alpha is also zero currently okay so you can get a bit of a description about what exactly all of these are guinea we have already seen what kind of method criterion we are using what if we are using genie or the entropy okay you can mention it over here right now i'm just using the genie one splitter we have uh, learned about what we meant by splitter best random okay now let's train our model let's fit fit our data to our model so let's run this and successfully we have trained out our or fitted out our model so if you check ds3 so this is something what we get so decision tree classifier with random state 101 has been trained out so it has been trained from our data x train and y train what we had in x train you can just have a quick view x train had all of these value samples and y train y train is the corresponding target values of this arrays okay these are the target values so that's how we have trained our first ever decision tree classifier model in our next video we are going to uh, do prediction we are going to predict it out and then we are going to evaluate how good our model is okay so let's jump into the next video